All right, just going to do a real quick five-minute uh, podcast here. No graphics this week, but I think the main thing, what last week taught us was pay attention to practice and qualifying. Everyone that practiced well uh, ran well. Kyle Larson did not qualify well. He qualified last, but he had the best times in practice. So, again, qualifying is two laps, is jalapeno knows. Big one tomorrow night for jalapeno. Probably watch it City Side, a little Notre Dame, Ohio State action, Sammy Hartman. But anyway, uh, uh, yeah, so Larson qualified 36, but he was the fastest in practice. He drove all the way through the field, just couldn't get Denny Hamlin there late. But again, uh, Logano, terrible outcome for him, uh, went out on the fourth lap and missed the playoffs as a result. Martin Truex, who was on the outside looking in, we liked Truex last week. He really didn't do anything big uh, to get himself in, but it just helped that Logano didn't do well, so he's in the playoffs now. So let's go ahead and share the screen. Uh, we will share the screen here. Uh, so our playoff drivers... Byron, Truex, Hamlin, Larson, Busher, Bush, Bell, Reddick, Chastain, Goslowski, Blaney, and Bubba Wallace. There are three races in this uh, segment. So it's this race, the round of 12. It's this race. It's Talladega, which is a super speedway. I think it happened at Charlotte Road Course. This is a traditional mile and a half uh, oval. So again, if, if, Going into this round, the points reset. So Truex is fine as of now. But, you know, Chastain is a guy who early on was a favorite. You know, he's got some work to do. But uh, Bush is a guy who we'll talk about kind of a conundrum at this track. So uh, that is the playoff picture. Now we're going to go ahead and look at... Uh, We're going to look at the speed ratings of mile and a half tracks. So if you look, so the comp tracks are both Kansas races, Vegas and the Charlotte main race. So look who's been fast. No surprise, right? Hamlin, Larson, Reddick, who's a guy who there's some value on Tyler Reddick this week. He usually qualifies well. I would suggest that you get Tyler Reddick uh, early if you like him. Just because if he practices qualifies well, like I see him on Caesars for a top five at, at plus a hundred, that's going to be a steal. I mean, the guy already won in the first round. That's going to be a steal. So I definitely would would look at him. But look at the guys that have been fast, and then guys that haven't been fast. You know, Kozlowski hasn't been really fast either, as Logano. So that's the way uh, that shakes out on this. Uh, and then if you look at uh if you look at uh Kansas, I mean Texas, which, which is where they're at, look at the starting positions of the winners. Eight of the last nine guys that have won have started from ninth or better. And look, two guys started third, a guy fourth, and two on the pole. So half of the people actually started uh you know, in the top five. So if you look at it that way, you got to really hold your bankroll for practice and qualifying. Uh, if you look at it, Chevy's Toyota's Ford's, there's kind of been a mix of everybody that's done well at this track. Let's go ahead and look at some track performances here. And we'll do the last 10. Then we'll look at average finish. So, Blaney is a guy who, you know, has the best here, best average start here. But so average finish, Harvick, Reddick, and Logano. So if you look at it, Harvick and Logano are guys that are not in the playoffs, right? But they're guys that certainly uh, can, you know, do well at this track. Bio Bush is a guy who you've got to go pretty far down. He, you know, uh, 
had the had a win here in 2020. The last year they rode here twice, and he's had you know he was eighth in 21, 36. He crashed out. You know, uh, I think he's going to run well, and he's some value again. See how he practices and qualifies. Look, he usually starts well, but. Uh, we will see how he does in this race. Another guy I want to look at is Blaney. So Blaney, if you look, Blaney has been a model of consistency. He has eight top tens in his last 10 starts. Ryan Blaney is a guy that we really, we really like this week as well for a top five. I saw him as a top five at plus 140. That's something that I would keep an eye on. And uh, again, I mean, I think Chase Elliott. I would, I would, I would bet him hard at the road course at the Roval in Charlotte. He's a guy that's not, uh, he's not uh, in the playoff picture, but I think he'll still win a race this year. So if you look at guys that do well here, Kevin Harvick is another guy. I mean, Harvick is a guy who is, uh, you know, as far as the playoffs are concerned, you know, he's not in them, obviously, but. He's a guy that, uh, you know, has done well at this track, hasn't done well the last two years. And they 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 didn't run very well last week. But I think if you could get Kevin Harvick in his goodbye season, who has an average finish in his last 10, at, uh, you know, if you get him at plus 140, I would take it. I mean, it's a risk, but he does well at this track he has in the past. So I'm going to stop the share. And again, I've just had a ton of stuff going on. So as Jalpeno knows uh, and the bookie. Uh, so here are people to consider at Texas. Now, again, I would probably only do 20% of my bankroll for Texas. Uh, I would do, uh, you know, before practice and qualifying. So I'd look at Reddick, Blaney, and Bush. Again, Reddick of those three is most likely to qualify fast. And then for top 10, I go with Gano Harvick and I got Carson Hosevar, who's five to one for a top 10. Hosevar finished 11 last week. So Hosevar is a guy who uh, is going to be a factor here. He's a 21, 22 year old kid. He's going to be a factor here in Cup. He's riding the 42 legacy car. For uh, for my man Noah Gragson, who just got reinstated, but he's riding for Gragson the next two races. Hosevar is a good rider, a good kid. Uh, he shows a lot of respect out there to other drivers, so he'll keep it clean. And I like him at five to one this week. I might wait if he doesn't qualify well. But again, what I'm looking for, and this is a good, this is good advice, I think, because I've been pretty successful. Uh, I think the, the what you need to do is you need to not necessarily consider in live betting, not necessarily concern yourself with pit cycles, but look at lap times and see how they do late in a run. And and that's on the NASCAR app. Every lap time is there. And then you can see, because if they're caught up in traffic, right? But they're still running fast lap times. It's like a horse, our guy Philly Joe knows. It's like a horse that gets stuck on the rail. Eventually, they're going to get out and run on by. So if they're running fast, don't worry necessarily about their positions. I guess what I'm saying is look more towards uh, look more towards lap time than position, at least in the first two stages. Then when we get to the third stage of this race, then we really need to they need to be in the mix, obviously. But again, their car is going to be clean, right? If they're still in the race by the third stage. And you just go from there and you look at someone who gives you some value and can do something, you know, again, in the race. But again, cars that qualify well here usually do well here. So they're going to be starting up front. As long as they don't get a penalty or whatever, they should kind of run up front most of the time. So I would, again, divert most of the bankroll. I'd say 20%. I go 20, 40, 40. So I go 20 before, 40 after practice and qualifying, and then 40 live in race. My strongest opinions uh, would be Ryan Blaney for a top five and Kevin Harvick, Carson Hosevar for a top 10 as of now.
that's what I would look at. But probably just go Blaney and Harvick uh, before. Uh, again, Blaney's a guy that does well at this track. He's still in the playoffs. Fords have done okay here. Uh, I, I'd look at him. And then uh, outright, I, I'd look at uh, Kozlowski, 12 to 1. I mean, I think he's somebody who uh, has been running well all year, just hasn't had a ton to show for it. So, again, I keep saying the last two weeks that I'm going to – do graphics and just be more prepared. My life has just been hectic and crazy. So I haven't been able to do it, but hopefully this is enough in information at least to get you going this week. Good luck. Let's cash some tickets.